Any student or employee who wishes to access the MyACC system simply navigates to the website and enters their username and password. Once they log in, they're presented with a couple different options. There's an application tab and a desktop tab. The application tab lists individual applications and network resources, such as their home drive, any shared folders they might have, and a class folder if you're a faculty member or student. The other folders listed have applications contained inside them. So for example, if I click on the Microsoft Office application, I'm presented with all the different Microsoft Office applications that's, that the students have access to. So if I wanted to open up Microsoft Word, I would simply click on the link. The system would then log me in, map any of my drives, apply any of my personal settings, and then launch the application. Once I'm in the application, I can use it like normal. You'll notice I'm doing this demonstration on a Macintosh computer, and this is actually Microsoft Word uh, for Windows. So say I wanted to open up an Excel file, I would simply click on the Excel icon and it would open that up. I could also access all of my personal files. So I could come here. That's my documents folder here, whether I'm uh, logged in on campus. I could scroll down, find an application or a document that I'm opening, need to open and work on, open up and it opens up the associated application. I also have access to any group drives that I might have when I'm on campus for all my shared information with either my department or throughout the campus. In addition to that, I have a class folder, and students and faculty have access to this. I happen to teach a CIS 224 class, so I have all the files that my students might need. For example, my syllabus, course calendar, all my grading rubrics, and all the student data files that the students might need to complete their assignments. This particular folder here is read-only for the students, so if a student opens up a, a document and tries to edit it, they would not be able to save it uh, back into this folder. We have specific uh, folders for applications because as we added more and more applications, uh, this page began to get rather long and uh, difficult to find the application that you might need. So for our CIS and business programs, we have a special folder for them. And applications we have in here would be like Visual Studio 2008, SQL+, eRouter, and specific uh, MySQL tools for different classes that they teach. We have faculty tools specific uh, for our faculty. For example, StudyMate, Test Generator, Respondus, and Micrograde uh, that all faculty, including adjunct, have access to. Math has a special folder where we have Maple, Maple Calculator, and other specific applications for math classes. We have a rather significant film school, and so there's some uh, specialized applications here uh, for the film school. For example, Final Draft 7, which is an application that helps them to uh, write scripts. And this will launch the application and log them in. And there you go. They have access to uh, Final Draft. Before my ICC, students had to purchase this application uh, to run on their own computers. So this is actually saving every student that takes those classes a significant amount of money. So besides different applications that we have available to the students and faculty and staff, we have specific desktops for our high-end applications like AutoCAD, Google, SketchUp, and Revit and then another desktop that presents the entire Adobe Creative Suite to them. So if I click on Adobe Creative Suite, it's actually going to launch a full-blown Windows XP workstation, and it's going to turn my Macintosh computer into a Windows XP machine. So the system will apply all of my personalized settings. It will remap my My Documents folder, so if I click on my documents, it 
So the system will apply all my personal settings and remap my My Documents folder. So if I come up here and click on My Documents, you'll see that I have access to all the documents just like I was on campus or just like I did through the other interface. Here I can launch uh, Adobe Photoshop, Dreamweaver, Adobe Bridge, Flash, Illustrator, InDesign, and I can complete the work that I need to complete. In addition, if I move my mouse all the way over to the left, you can see that I have access to my Mac dock. I simply log off and it takes me back to the desktop of the computer, the physical computer that I was using. We also have an AutoCAD virtual desktop Students who use this are our AutoCAD students and our interior design students. Once the desktop has come up, again, my My Documents folder has been redirected, so I have access to all my data. I have access to all of my shared folders, like the group drive and my class folder. and I can launch AutoCAD. And now I'm ready to work. When I'm done, I simply log off. So the MyICC interface gives faculty, staff, and students access to approximately 100 different applications and desktops so that they can have access to, access to everything they need from any computer, from anywhere in the world, as long as they have an internet connection.